Well, that's all for today, friends. I'm so glad that we were able to do this. Even if we aren't in the same room together, I hope you know that I still am so happy to take a share of music with you all. I can't wait until we're back to school so we can see each other again. I miss you all so much and I hope you're being safe. Bye. We're going to start class how we usually do, but also just a little bit different. You'll see on the screen that we don't have a rhythm or a melody for our do now, but instead we have a question. Today it says, what are you happy about today? I want you to think about it and you can share with someone in your house a little bit later. Here's what we can do today. We can use our singing voice, listen to and interpret music, learn about a new instrument, and review Peter and the Wolf. Now, we talked about this before. Remember that interpret just means we're going to listen to it and think about how it makes us feel. We're going to do that in a little bit too. Let's see if you remember our welcome song. And you can also teach somebody in your house how to sing it too. Ready? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I'm happy to see you and how do you do? All right, let's go back to our do now question. What are you happy about today? I'll tell you what I'm happy about. I'm happy that even though we're not at school and we're not going to be at school for a while, we still get to share music with each other. Tell someone in your house what you're happy about today. Now we're going to do some creative movement. I want you to find someone in your house you can move with and think about all the different ways that we have moved in class. You can walk, you can run, you can skip or hop. You can move fast or slow, high or low. I want you to move with the person in your house to along to the song and use all those different ways of movement. Ready? Here we go.
Now we're going to do a quick review of Peter and the Wolf. If you remember the story, Peter had snuck out of his house to go to the garden, which his grandfather said not to do, so he could play with his friends, his animal friends. But then a wolf came in and messed up his playtime, so Peter had to be a brave boy and save his animal friends from the wolf. If you can remember, we listened to the story and there were a lot of instruments playing. Each instrument was one of the characters. So we have seven characters in Peter and the Wolf. We have the bird, the duck, the cat, grandfather, the wolf, the hunters, and Peter. We are going to see if we can identify, which means if we can tell, figure out which character we hear. I'm going to play a recording of one of the characters on the screen, and you tell me what character did you hear? Or tell someone in your house, I should say. What character do you hear? Remember, each of the characters is played by an instrument, but they're all going to sound like the character usually would. So if you're hearing a cat, it's going to sound like a cat. If you're hearing the duck, it's going to sound like the duck. Ready? Be listening. So, which instrument did you hear? It was the bird. The bird is played by an instrument in the Woodwind family called the flute. You'll see in the picture down here that the flute isn't actually made of wood. It was made of wood a very long time ago, but since then, it's now made of metal. You're going to watch a video now of a flautist, or a person who plays the flute, playing the bird's music from Peter and the Wolf. Wasn't that interesting? It was so cool to actually watch someone play the flute. Here's what I want you to do. Describe how the flute sounded in the comments on Seesaw. I want to see some great descriptions from you guys. Well, that's all for today, friends. I'm so glad that we were able to do this. Even if we aren't in the same room together, I hope you know that I still am so happy to take a share music with you all. I can't wait until we're back to school so we can see each other again. I miss you all so much and I hope you're being safe. Bye.